Hello dear students, now we are going to discuss about the INR number 18 where we will discuss about another PYQ called as rhinosporidiosis. Right, so what is rhinosporidiosis? It is an infection which is caused by rhinosporidium seberi. Right, so rhinosporidium seberi was initially considered as a non-cultivable cult cultivable fungus. Remember it is non-cultivable, you cannot culture them. Right? So initially we thought that this is a fungus, but now it has been reclassified as a protista. I understand. So previously it was fungus, but now it is considered as a protista under the mesomycetozoa. Right? And who will be commonly affected? So usually it is former who will be commonly affected. And commonly it will be seen in southern part of the India. So mostly patient will be coming from the south part of the India and predisposed by trauma. So the reason is trauma, right? Farmers, southern area, trauma will be the reason. And how this trauma will be uh, giving infection? This will be acquired from the dust from the dungs, right? So dust from the dungs of infected cattle and the horses. And it can be also transmitted through the contaminated water of the ponds, right? So from the dust of the dungs and contaminated water of the ponds, they will be the reason for the transmission and clinically when you will see most commonly remember most commonly this infection will be involving nasal mucosa they can involve other mucosa also but most commonly nasal mucosa will be involved and what will be the presentation they will be presenting as a bleeding polyp so they will be presenting as a bleeding polyp which will resemble like a strawberry because they are highly vascular Right, they are highly vascular, so they are resembling like a strawberry. And sometimes you may find the white dots, which will be which will be representing this sporangia. Right, so why it is called as uh, uh, strawberry uh, polyp because of the vascular nature of this polyp. Right, because these are vascular mass, and they are called as a strawberry polyp. So when you will take the biopsy from here, you will find histopathological finding that histopathological finding you will notice there is a big circle this is called sporangium this is called sporangium which can be basophilic and within this sporangium you can see small small sporangiospores are there so sporangium with a sporangiospore is diagnostic finding obviously it is an inflammation so surrounding area you will find there are lymphocytic inflammation right so on histopathological examination what we are observing basophilic sporangium containing basophilic sporangiospore and along with that you will see chronic inflammation what chronic inflammation lymphocyte plasma cells and macrophages so sporangium sporangiospore chronic inflammation this will diagnose the rhinosporidium seboi right so I, again i repeat sporangium sporangiospore along with chronic inflammation will confirm the diagnosis of rhinosporidiosis and treatment we can do the treatment the a complete excision of the mass that mass will be completely excised with cutting diathermy and cauterization of its base and we can add pharmacological treatment of the dapsone. So excision plus dapsone, complete excision plus dapsone will be the treatment of choice for rhinosporidiosis. So enjoy learning, best wishes for your exam.